We see lightning flash several seconds before we hear thunderclaps. That's because light travels much faster than sound. Hmm. Welcome to today's show. On today's show, we're going to be discussing sound energy. What is sound energy? Sound is a form of energy that travels in waves. If you don't believe me, experience it for yourself. Try the telephone cup experiment. All you need is two cups, a piece of yarn, and a friend. Once you combine the two cups using the string, speak into one end of the cup, and it will transfer the sound energy from one cup to the other cup through the string. This experiment proves that sound travels in waves. There's many parts of a sound wave, a wavelength, an amplitude, a crest, a resting point, a trough, and a frequency. A wavelength is the distance between two neighboring crests. This affects whether a sound is high or low. So what is a crest? A crest is the high point of a wave. Amplitude is the distance from the resting point to a crest to a trough. It determines the volume or loudness of a sound wave. Halfway between the crest, the top, and the trough, the bottom, is the resting point. A trough is the lowest point of a wave. A frequency of a wave is the number of crests or troughs that pass by over a certain amount of time. Sound is a type of energy that can be heard. Sounds are made by objects that vibrate. When something vibrates, it vibrates quickly, back and forth. Sounds can change if the object moves in a quick or slow manner. It should be known that objects that move back and forth do not always make sounds. Sounds are made when objects move back and forth quickly, and when the object vibrates, it will make the air molecules nearby vibrate as well. Sound has to move through a solid, a liquid, or a gas. It cannot move in space. Astronauts can hear sounds in their spacecraft because there is air for the sounds to travel in. But outside of the spacecraft, sound cannot travel because space does not have liquids, solids, or gases in a regular form. It's a vacuum. Space is a vacuum. And sound cannot travel in a vacuum. Sound moves the fastest through solids and the slowest through gases. If an object makes a sound, it has pitch. Pitch is how high or low a sound is. The faster an object vibrates, the higher the pitch it has. The slower an object vibrates, the lower the pitch. Pitch can be changed by changing how fast an object vibrates. Thinking about a rubber band is a great example of pitch. If a rubber band is stretched tightly, it will vibrate quickly and have a higher pitch. A rubber band that is stretched, but loosely, will have a lower pitch. Pitch and volume are different things. When you turn the radio up, the volume is increased. The volume is how loud a sound is. The strength of a sound is known as its intensity. Scientists measure the intensity of sounds in units called decibels. As you can see here on my tablet, this infographic shows that a rocket engine can be as loud as 180 decibels, and just breathing is just as low as 10 decibels. The human ear is a marvel unto its own. Humans detect sound waves with their ears. Your ears also help you keep balance. The inner ear contains tubes filled with fluid. When you move your head, the fluid moves too. The direction and speed of its motion tell the brain your position. Take special precautions in listening to music that may be too loud, because once hearing is damaged, it may be damaged forever. So now it's time to summarize what we've learned so far. Think about the importance of sound to the human body. Sound is one of the five senses, and it increases our ability to understand the world all around us. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to connect with us. Check us out on Teachers Pay Teachers. Follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and check out our Pinterest page. Hop on over to our YouTube channel where you can check out many exciting videos like the one that you've just seen. And check out our blog at www.bowtieguyandwife.com.